Abdurrahman Saraf Khan, head of the Aircraft Department of the Presidency of Defense Industries, speaking at the 9th Air and Avionics Systems Seminar, as reported by Savinmatr, announced that the serial production phase was started within the scope of the F-16 ZGR modernization project. Khan said, the modernization of ZGR on the first aircraft has been completed, the serial modernization on the other aircraft has started, made statements. In the ZGR project, which includes the avionic modernization of the F-16 Block 30 warplanes in the Turkish Air Force inventory, IFF system, mission computer, colored multifunctional display, the F-16 Block 30 combat aircraft will be modernized within the scope of the Priority Oscar project of the Murad AESA radar developed by Aselsan. Planned to be used in aircraft. In his presentation at the 10th Defense Industry Days organized by the Machine Technologies Club at Yildiz Technical University, Ahmet Akyal, head of Electronic Warfare and Radar Systems Department of the Presidency of Defense Industries, announced in the presentation shared by Defense here that the Murad Aircraft UAV AESA radar has entered the integration and testing phase. Speaking within the scope of the Defense Technologies Days 21 event, organized by the Istanbul Technical University Defense Technologies Club, ITU Savtech, in 2021 and attended by the Defense Industry Presidency, SSB, and Turkish defense industry companies, Ahmet Akyal said that the domestic AESA knows radar F-16 Viper he stated that it would be better than the APG-83 radar in the United States. Within the scope of the same event, Mohamed Mustafa Akol, a Selsun Radar Systems Engineering Director, announced the calendar regarding the yearly AESA knows radar with the following words. This will be a very important technological leap for us, you hear from the press. The Greeks are now getting active electronic scanning antennas for their F-16s. The first set even went to America for modifications. We are also developing an active electronic scanning radar for our F-16s. Of course, this has great advantages. Especially when you enter air combat, it has great advantages over radars with standard mechanical steerable antennas. We will use this radar and the structures that use the building blocks of this radar in both Akinka and the F-16. What we learn from here, of course, creates a wealth of information while making us the nose radar of the national combat aircraft. An important technological development for us. I hope we will enter Akinchi towards the end of 2021, in 2022, we will start the integration studies with the F-16. MMU is already targeted towards 2026.